I had just moved here and I was very shy and I had a lot of social anxiety. I've really had no experience in arts in my life. <laughs> I know that art is important because I was a child that relied on art to express how I was feeling. A lot of us just kind of get into our boxes. We miss that spontaneity. Relax, relax your mind, open it up to, to other things. There was just a sense of coming home. This is, this is me, this is me. I think the Carver Art Center is just this little sparkling gem of life. There's people dancing, there's people singing, there's people walking through with like, ceramics on their face like it gives people a place like if they want to do something that's going to fulfill their own sense of spirit and soul the art center has it i retired uh, and I moved near my daughter one of the very first things he did was sign up for some art classes here photography and drawing. And it was fabulous. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. It was a great opportunity for him to integrate into the community and to get to know the real Carborough. <laughs> Having a place that has something for all the members in the family is very important because people can take advantage of a place like this for a long time. This is a place that has a future. Whether it's someone in the ceramic studio late at night, or people rehearsing a play, or kids in an after-school program, we're here for as many people as there are creative outlets, and there are lots of different creative opportunities here at the Art Center. A lot of the families that come to us at the Art Center may start by attending summer camps, and I'll see the same families come back when they're in middle school and high school as volunteers because they want to give back to the programs that they grew up in and that they started a love for art. In addition to our summer camps, we also offer an after-school program. Our wonderful team of after-school leaders who work with the students every day, talking one-on-one -on -one with students that might have had a really rough day and finding ways through art that will really get them back on track and help them feel at home here at the Art Centre. For many students in our program, art is an emotional outlet. We don't just do art learning, we do a lot of character building and emotional and social learning through art making. I visited an art museum and saw things that we had done here before. They're able to talk with their parents about art and be interested and, and have vocabulary in their back pocket about how to be literate about the arts. Carbo families, I've come to learn, they want deeper uh, interactions with art. They want a diverse range of experiences. My oldest, she's into doing her own comics. One of the visiting artists here was working with comics and she learned a lot of new techniques. I can make up comic books of my superhero, which is called Super Kitty. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Our teachers go into the classrooms at all grade levels and have residencies um, with the students there. When I arrived at the Art Centre and got to know the teaching artist, I was really surprised to find that many of them had been teaching here for many years and they'll come back every summer just because they feel that they are really connected with their community when they're here. We have seven students that are on a full-time scholarship. That means that they come here every day after school. It's so exciting for me because I know that they're being able to provide opportunities for students that would otherwise not be able to. And them finding that they're really good at drawing or really good at painting, they didn't even know it and they wouldn't have had that opportunity otherwise. Our goal is to offer more scholarships, to be able to make sure that our program is available and accessible to the entire community and that price is not a barrier. We always have more requests than we have funds, so we're always seeking to grow resources to really respond to that need in the community. The Art Center relies on both contributed and earned income. People's class fees pay for about 65% of the cost of the cost of running this place and the rest is all made up through donations. 
when a student is hesitant and shy coming into our program, doesn't believe in themselves as a young artist or a maker of things, builds up trust with our leaders and with our art teachers, and we see a sort of transformation where they're making things together, not being precious about their artwork, but sort of experiencing it on a day-to-day -day and being really in the process. They have a chance to really um, practice their social skills through the arts. The art is the best! It's really cool to see people who think they're kind of just taking this random class to maybe like push themselves a little bit and then they get lit up and addicted <laughs> and sometimes then it'll become like this passion of theirs. You really do get to connect with that childlike part of yourself. It gave me a chance in retirement to learn a, a little bit about things that are important in the world. It has enriched my life, and I'm gonna keep coming. For me, it's not so much about perfection of a form. We're about curiosity and learning more about the world around you through the arts. We rely on our communities for support for the Art Center. We are so grateful for supporters like you. Not only are you supporting the local teaching artists, but also you contribute to the creative growth of the youth in Orange County. It just allows them to be more open and accepting in general of, of the world around them. It just pushes them to be better, better humans.